Grounded. Music definitely makes you feel grounded, I would say. Uh, energised. Vulnerable. Because before you listen to music, you might feel a bit nonchalant and unfeeling towards most things in your life. I, I wouldn't want to say something like happy because it depends on the song, on how you feel. It's just vulnerable to those feelings. Um, growing up, I had a lot of R&B kind of influence, so that I do love, but I think finding music myself, I really like sort of a lot of indie alternative bands. My favourite music genre is pop punk. I quite like the aggressiveness of it but also it has its kind of light-hearted and kind of sing-along moments to it. Okay, so music genres, I do get them, but I don't... It, to me, a genre is... it's there for a classification, but it, what, what it means in terms of music adjoin, enjoyment is, to me, is pointless. So I don't tend to think of music as music in genres, I think of music as music I enjoy. So I enjoy rock music, I enjoy heavy mu metal music, um, I do like some classical music. I quite like R&B, but um, I think my favourite one started off with like classical rock and rock music and stuff like that, so like Led Zeppelin and The Beatles and people like that. Uh, favourite rock artist is probably Red Hot Chili Peppers. My dad used to play them a lot when I was growing up. It sort of feels familiar listening to them because it's something I've always had with me in my life. And when I saw them at Reading Festival as well, it was a really good experience. So I've been able to see a band who you've liked for as long as you can remember. So, Tame Impala, uh, Two Door Cinema Club, Glass Animals, it's got like Wolf Palace, you know, stuff like that. My favourite artists would be BTS because their songs are just really upbeat and colourful. and me because they're really different they have a really happy vibe I really like Whitney Houston I feel sad when she, she died but in an early age because she's a very talented person and when, when she sang she feel it and the audience feel it too I think my favorite band is definitely Kasabian I feel like everyone knows that right now I really like Kendrick Lamar I feel like I don't know, I think he's very influential and I think he's really good with his lyrics and I really feel like lyrics are the most important thing right now for me so I'd say Kendrick Lamar is my favourite right now. I think because so much of the music I do listen to is old and was from quite a few years ago it, it does bring a lot of nostalgia and it makes me picture that sort of era. Yeah, it does make you feel slightly nostalgic for an era. For a, an area in time that you were never actually a part of but, and that's pretty cool. For some songs I kind of imagine I'm kind of playing the guitar to them, some I kind of like imagine I'm singing or drumming to them. I mean it really depends, I kind of just imagine I'm on stage like playing with the band when I'm like listening to the song. I, I've made like loads of friends through music, like my current group of friends, we're all a group because we all camp together at Running Festival and just went to the same bands and then we went to a lot of gigs together and now we're just best friends. When, you, when you're in like a venue and you're watching a band you can just connect with everyone around you, even strangers. It's important to me because it just shows a massive sense of community because music is something that everyone can enjoy and everyone does enjoy and there's so many different types of music and you can always find something that you like to listen to. Overall, I would say I physically could live without music, but emotionally I wouldn't. I feel the kind of emotions and the kind of the, the mentality behind listening to music and kind of the effect that different music can put you in. I mean, listening to relatable lyrics as well can really help you. Like, if someone's gone through something similar to you, then it can um, change your outlook on life. You kind of think, oh, it's not just me who's gone through that. It can change to loads of different people. Without music, life wouldn't be the same. It would be a lot more bland, a lot more boring, and a lot more hard to get through than like having music around, I would say. Overall, if I had to pick an answer, I would say I couldn't live without music. I would, no, I couldn't.